In two days, the State Board of Education could decide on changes to how students will learn about sex here in Texas schools. A year ago, the board expanded what exactly could be taught on this subject, and now it's time to approve the textbooks. KXAN politics reporter Daniel Medin takes a look at reaction to proposed changes. From contraceptives to consent, the 15-member State Board of Education is deciding what will appear on the page when it comes to sex education. A year ago, the board tweaked its list of teaching standards known as the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, or TEKS. It broadened its approach to middle school sex ed beyond abstinence only and added more information on STIs and healthy relationships. They don't teach about sexual orientation and gender identity, but they did make headway in, in other areas. Carissa Lopez with the Progressive Texas Freedom Network says for the most part, they're okay with the proposed textbook options, some of which include optional materials on LGBTQ topics. Our kids deserve to be armed with this information. I don't think that this, uh, the purpose of this is to exclude anyone. Jonathan Covey with the conservative Texas values says the board needs to stick to its own rules, which don't include LGBTQ teachings. We believe it discriminates against uh, students uh, that have a, a biblical faith or uh, um, a faith other than uh, something that believes in sexual orientation or gender identity. Whatever the board decides, the materials Texas chooses could influence options available to other states, according to communication professor Richard Pineda. If a book publisher is going to commit to a certain narrative, and you're producing thousands upon thousands of textbooks. If you've got a smaller state that has a much smaller population that only needs hundreds, whatever Texas wants to do will have that rollover. There are three more committee hearings set for this week, and once again, the board is set to make its final decisions on Friday. Reporting in downtown Austin, Daniel Marin, KXAN News.